of task three. And I think that to be completely honest, it just keeps getting more fun. So Picasso task three is creating a movie in Picasso. And um, like it says on the top of Schoology, we're just going to continue amazing you with Picasso. So click the library tab at the top of the screen, open the album you created in project eight task one. So, oops, excuse me. Um, so we've got our album open, Picasso task one. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a movie. So to do that, let's go ahead and let's highlight um, our images in Picasso Task 1 folder. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a movie presentation. So you can see the movie tab, right? This is the icon, sorry. We're going to click on that. And it's going to load in the images that we have. Now, before we go any farther, let's just go ahead and let's go back. Let's go to the slide tab. And um, I want to uh, I want to go ahead and I want to change the name so that it fits what I'm doing. So mine is uh, my topical vacation, and I'm going to change the date here because maybe the date would be important, but in this case, it would, it would, it's going to be created by Chris Rubin. Okay, and I can choose like I can make some adjustments here. I can change like my text type so that it looks like a little bit mm. I'll choose that. Okay. And then you also have uh, some options for how you want it to be. So I could just choose center. And then I can choose again. I'm not that happy with my text, but I'm trying to move quickly, so let's just stick with that. Um, we're going to go back to, so once you're happy with that, go back to the movie section. Okay. And um, you can see that like I'm able to start and I'm able to get a preview by hitting the play button down here of what my slideshow is going to look like. The next thing I want to do is I want to play around with my transition style. So I can watch, right, if I choose these, my choice pan and zoom, what it's going to do each time. It's going to kind of pan my photos. Now, that's a really popular one. It's called the Cambodian thing. But, um, we can also like choose white. And that's going to change to that. I mean, we have a chance to like change the duration of our slides. We shouldn't have them be longer than five seconds. But you can have them be five seconds, and you can have like a little bit more overlap, and that way it would it would slide a little bit slower when it does that. So again, go ahead and choose one that you like. In this case, I'm, I think I'm just going to choose dissolve, right? And then we want to add some music in the background. So if you have a means of adding a different song, you're welcome to do that. You can download it to your computer. Make sure again that it's appropriate. For me and for many of you, I'm going to just use my music library for right now. I've got three choices. Um, so you can like quickly like import them and you could like listen to what it's like. Okay, or, um, and again, you can just kind of hear what each of them sounds like. Oh, thank you. So I would decide that I like the first one the most. It's kind of upbeat, fun, and it goes along with my tropical vacation. The next step is very important. Options, fit videos, fit where it says fit photos into audio. I don't need five pictures to last five minutes and 48 seconds. So what I want to do is I want to truncate audio. I want to make my audio end when my pictures end. Right? And that way, it should be about a 25-second video, maybe 30, depending on whether you have five or six pictures, plus the slide at the very beginning. Okay? So with that, now I'm like, I've got all of this. I've done all of these. Make sure I like them. Right? I went and I set, I set my front slide to be my tropical vacation created by Chris Rubin. And I can go ahead and I'm going to preview it. Once 
once you're happy with your final product, all you have to do is go to where it says create movie. And it's going to take a few minutes while it creates that movie, so we'll wait patiently. Okay, and okay, it's about halfway done now. Once it finishes, we're going to have the opportunity to go ahead and we can go back to our library. We can edit it anytime and recreate it, or we can just go ahead and upload the video to YouTube. Um, so that you're able to post this on your blog, we're going to upload the video to YouTube today. Presentation of what it looks like. If I go back to my library, right, um, it's it's easy to find the movies. I can always go back. I can always edit the movies. But for my sake today, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to upload to YouTube. And when I go there, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to log in using my crubin at sec.org. Excuse me. Password. I'll sign in. I have a single log on. So hopefully you've already logged in today so you don't have to do that again. Um, we'll call it title on our on YouTube let's call it Picasso task three let's see that blank sorry so it is gonna require us to um, go ahead and fill out all of these forms. So I'm just going to say description nine. Video category is going to be education, right? Um, if you want to, under keywords, you can put my tropical vacation or whatever your video is, and then hit upload video. Um, and of course, there's an error to uploading to YouTube. So really, actually, it's not a problem. We'll go back to our library. And if you have that, if that becomes an issue, For you, what I would suggest doing is just dragging the video here um, to your desktop. Let's go to youtube.com, go to upload. Again, I'm going to need to log in, sorry for the delay. never know when you're going to hit a slight glitch, I did today. Select file to upload. I'm just going to select from my desktop. Because of task one. Open. There we go. So now this is an important step. So it's processing my video. Right? It's going to take just a minute. And once it's done, you can hit publish, right? It's going to publish this video at this link. What I don't want you to do, though, is I don't want this link. I want the embed code, right? And you're going to copy that embed code. When you go to your blog, all you have to do is start your new blog post. It'll be called Picasso Task 3, right? Maybe my video. And at the very top, you're going to click to HTML, paste the embed code, and look at that. Pretty cool. Um, that's it for today. We'll have a couple questions for your blog. Fill those out, and you'll be set to go.